Hello friends. In this video, I'll be talking about surgical training and how to look at the bigger picture. As we know, in surgical training, we undergo training through different steps. And I always compare it with uh, learning to ride a bicycle. So in the initial phase, our trainer helps you in hand holding. He will take care of the balance while you take care of your leg movements to get the rhythm right. And once you get these movements right, you have to now balance yourself in a secured environment. And after that comes the real life scenarios where you have to ride yourself and go through different hurdles. So at the end of your surgical training, you have to start looking at the bigger picture. So you are not only riding the bicycle and, you know, balancing yourself, but you have to ride through a, a mountain or a traffic. So similar thing happens when you are getting trained. First part is hand holding. You are taught different techniques. You start analyzing yourself, your surgical videos, and you learn to overcome your shortcomings. And the last part, when you are actually doing the surgeries, now you just don't have to focus on the basics you have learned, but you have to also look at the bigger picture of uh, this when you are doing surgery. So I just want to showcase here one case where uh, CCC went into the zonules when the trainee was operating. And we'll look at this case and we'll see how looking at the bigger picture helps when you are actually doing the surgery in real life. So here the trainee is doing very well, doing CCC. As you must be seeing this video, you must be saying that this uh, trainee has very good stable hands and he's doing all right. And just like as all of you were missing the bigger picture, he was focusing only on this CCC flap, how he was holding and how he was navigating in a very focused and uh, I would say in a more narrow sense of the picture. So what actually he was looking at was like this. He was only focusing on the CCC margin and how to hold the flap and how to navigate it further. But what he was missing is the bigger picture. Now if you see the overall diameter of his CCC, it was way beyond the, what was expected of 5.5. So it was going beyond 6 mm. And as you know, when you go beyond 6 mm, the zonules will try to pull the CCC edge out. And that's exactly what happened here. As you can see, the CCC starts curving out into the zonules. So here he stopped. And then at this point, what he should have done is tried a little maneuver to get it in. But then he tried to use the, uh, he didn't use the little maneuver. So ultimately, the trainer had to take over and now pull it back quickly using the quick pull maneuver as has been described and then the CCC was completed. So this video is to show you that even if you think that you are going all right in that particular step, if you don't look at the bigger picture, you are actually leading yourself to a complication. So I will in future further put up more videos where you are missing the bigger picture so that will help you in uh, getting your surgeries all right. So the main I think aim of this video is to tell you to look at the bigger picture when you are operating so as you avoid the complications in future. Thank you so much.